What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. We're coming to you live from the front lawn this time because it is 15 degrees with a wind chill of around 5. And uh, at this weather, it's just not practical to ride. Like, literally, I go numb the rest of the day. and Not productive. So, under the 20-degree mark, we've been doing a stationary bike inside. We get our 10 miles in, and we make it happen. Uh, looking forward to warmer weather because uh, I don't like riding inside. But... Got to keep getting you the message a day. We got to keep getting our mileage in. I know, forget my excuses, but literally being numb the rest of the day, it literally uh, throws me off track. Not productive. So we'll get your message here from the front lawn. We got old Glory, Glory in the background. And um, uh, let's see. So today I opened up the Bible app. It was a verse from Peter. And um, it was something to the effect of um, who could harm someone who was eager to do good. And, um, basically if your mindset is to do good, to give, um, harm can't come to you. Um, and if you think of that, uh, if you stay in a positive state, you stay with positive people, stay in a positive environment and you just keep giving and giving and giving, then, uh, it's really tough for harm to come on you. Uh, even when stuff harms you, the positivity in your life will overtake that harm, um, God sees what we do, God knows what we do, and God will reward us uh, for spreading the good news, as they say. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's hard for harm to come to those that are eager to do good. So, how do you live in your life? How do you live in your life? Um, are you living your life um, in a positive way? Um, how do you live behind the scenes? How do you live behind closed doors? Uh, what thoughts are in your head? Um, all the bad thoughts that come into your head, you need to push them out. You need to uh, focus on the good and uh, forget the bad. We find what we focus on. Um, in my Apex world, we have this thing called the G-Code. Uh, it's an app. Um, basically, the first step of this app is gratitude and be thankful for all this and to figure out your wins for the day and what you've learned for the day. Um, and concentrate on the good things in life. Concentrate on the positive things in life. Um, and that's what you'll find, because we find what we focus on. So, if you're eager to do good, you're eager to help out in the world, you're eager to help people around you, you're eager to build people up around you, um, you're eager to say good morning, you're eager to smile um, and help people out in their lives, um, it is tough for harm to come on you. So, here's your message of the day. Let's jump in prayers over here. Uh, let's see, get the flag out here, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to wake up every day and do good. Help us to uh, think positive thoughts and help us to uh, keep our minds out of the gutter. Um, help us to continue to give and be strong and protect us from harm, protect us from pain, protect us from suffering. Um, amen. All right, everyone. So it's Saturday. Uh, I'm a little late today because my uh, baby girl grabbed me on the way out to do the message and wanted some snuggle time, and I do not say no to snuggle time. So we did a little bit of snuggle time, and now we're out here doing the messages. Ten miles uh, on the stationary bike today. Uh, we get ten miles a day, 236 days into the journey of 365. Um, I spoke to my book editor, Hillary, yesterday, and she is asking... Uh, from you guys that support and watch every day. If there's any messages that stand out to you, anything about this journey that stands out to you, if you could uh, let me know, because uh, she'd like to highlight uh, the popular stuff in the book. And if anyone wants to do any testimonials of what they think about this uh, ride I'm doing, this journey uh, we ride at dawn, um, that possibly could be added to the book. Uh, if anyone's willing to contribute, I would greatly appreciate it. You guys are all awesome that are on here every morning and uh, supporting this journey. 
hopefully I'm inspiring you. Um, like I say, put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. I'm hoping this journey inspires you to get moving, uh, to make changes in your life. Um, find happiness. Uh, find success, both in business, in relationships, in health. Uh, and just enjoy life, live life. And uh, that's this journey. We ride at dawn 365. No matter what happens yesterday, tomorrow's another day. We get up and ride again. Um, and we keep trying small steps forward daily, as my friend Thomas says. Um, we're all in this together. So uh, hopefully I can inspire you. Hopefully you can inspire someone else. And before you know it, the world's a better place. So that's the message. That's the goal. Again, if any of these messages stand out to you, if anything, uh, any comments or testimonials or anything like that that you guys could offer, feel free to DM me, and uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, starting to put this book together, hopefully having it ready for uh, early summer, and you guys can read about it. Um, just trying to do big things. Force of average uh, gets a lot of people, so do my best to avoid being average. So uh, I appreciate you all. Um, what do we got today? We got my daughter's first penance today. Um, so that's going to go on. We'll get dinner tonight with her. Got an open house over at 120 Hanson. Uh, that was just reduced. 749. Four bedroom, two bath. Center Hall Colonial, all new. 76 by 100 property. Right in the heart of Malvern. Um, that is an open house today from 11 to 1230. Uh, Dawn and Lisa are doing it. And again, that was just reduced. 749. Um, it was a little overpriced when we put it up. Now it's right where it should be. So uh, go buy it. It's a $30,000 price improvement. It's right where it should be now. So go take a look. 120 Hanson. Place in Malvern. Uh, about 2,000 square feet all new. Go check it out. And uh, got a new listing in Belmore coming out about a week or so on the water. Uh, new listing in Malvern coming out in about a week or so. Waiting uh, to get cleaned up ready for pictures. And a couple other things in the works. And uh, let's see what uh, we can do. This year's already looking busy in real estate. Uh, mortgage rates are jumping like crazy. Uh, they're almost up a point from December. So, uh, and everyone I'm talking to says they're going to hit four probably by next month. So, if you've been hesitating on selling or buying, uh, looks like the uh, ship is starting to sail. So, uh, let's get your house on the market. Let's get something bought before it costs you more. Uh, if you're a buyer, it's going to cost you more per month, obviously, with a higher rate. And if you're a seller, um, it's obviously going to slow down the market. You're going to have less people looking to buy your house as it gets less affordable. So if you've been waiting, it's time to stop waiting. Let's get your house on the market and let's get a house bought for you. All right. So if anyone needs anything, you know how to find me. Um, message me through here. Uh, pretty much available anywhere. All right, everyone. Appreciate you all. Have a happy Saturday. Uh, enjoy the sunshine. Even though it's 15 and freezing, we're going to enjoy the day. All right, everyone. Have a great day.